when Monday really isn't a Monday. My essential job begins their new week on Tuesdays, while my wife Lee's job, they start their weeks on Fridays. In radio, the most important day was always Thursday because research showed more people were listening on those Thursdays, which must be true because look at the way that the nightclubs banked on that. Thursdays were always their best nights before the weekend arrived. Yet in the grocery store business, Mondays are their huge day for sales. See, this is why we're all so confused. So many different layouts of expectations and we're all playing on different fields. My Saturday is actually a Monday. Thursday to my schedule is my working Monday. How do people with unpredictable work schedules adjust their lives, never having the same days off? Mentally, it's got to be brutal. But how do we heal from this? Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mass, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I don't know what day it is. I really don't. I mean, the calendar says this, but do I feel that? Which is the reason why I write. So that I know when I come back to this page in the future, I will understand that today is really a Thursday, but to my essential job, it's a Monday. I'm confused. This is the Daily Mess. So why does the human brain look at words and it thinks, oh my God, it's misspelled. According to research, great readers and writers don't see them one letter at a time. When a word is misspelled, your mind will autocorrect it. The mind uses its strength to experience the story because we all love journeys. But where I stumble is when a perfectly spelled word looks to be misspelled. I stop. I look around. I grab the smartphone and I look the word up, losing time to a brain fart. So how do you recover? Especially since we're aware of every word now. Is it spelled right? Did I do it right? Did I say it right? Did I put it in the right place? Because I use physical handwriting as a tool, it's very simple to get by with misspelled words until you start guilt tripping your inner soul because you know darn good and well, one day somebody's going to come back and read your handwriting and they're going to think, oh my God, oh my God, he was a bad speller. So I correct things as I grow forward. Such a journey to be this daily writer. I'm not the only one that goes through this. Look at what we do with autocorrect on our smartphone and on our computers. You'll send something out and man, we'll, we'll, we'll put a rover up on Mars. But for some reason in the computer world, we can't pull back an email or a text. They're going to get it. If I hit cancel, it should just disappear, right? But it doesn't. And we send things out there that autocorrect kind of screwed up. Now, is the world of AI going to change? Will AI Create the words for you, and you'll go, okay, because your mind auto-corrects. It thinks it sees, when in reality, it wasn't that way. Auto-correcting words that it sees is very scary in an age when auto-correct is changing everything. Did you really say that? Wouldn't it be nice if, if notes could come with musical notes? And the reason why is because then they could hear your pitch, volume, and tone. But that's what a phone call is all about. That's why we like to look at each other on the smartphone and have conversations. So that we can hear what's being said and feel what's being shared. We're occupied. Our minds are occupied. Calm down. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.